All right, so we're here at the 141st AES convention. One of the most exciting things that I'm waiting to see or get more information about is these bad boys, the virtual reality. Michael is going to appreciate and myself, I really appreciate this. When I was at Citrus College for the Recording Technology Program, uh, we had the AES come by and we were a part of it and, and they're here today. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully the students are taking advantage of this opportunity because it's really good to get inside of the industry and network with people that are there. Bring business cards and network. Oh, Mr. O'Hara! Yes! How are you? <laughs> I'm very well. Oh, um, remember me? I went to Citrus. Oh I my do. god, uh, this is my brother Jorge. Hey. Uh, we're doing oh, a, right. hey, Good to meet you. We're nice doing you vlogging too. about it. Um, oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, man. Fantastic. Here, I started a live sound business. And I don't know if you ever remember Michael Castaneda. Sure I do. Yeah, and he worked with me, too. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, here. Oh, can I get a flyer? Huh? Can I see your flyer? Oh, sure, sure. I'm going through Citrus right now. Are you really? So, yeah, I'm in the first semester. Of the Email me whenever you're done, man. And I'd have to say, you guys really prepared me for, for the reality, and I really appreciate that. All right, guys, so we're finally here. We got registered, got our name badges, ready to go inside. My name is George, ASC TV. I'm Esteban Lopez with AdroidSoundAndEntertainment.com. And we're about to walk inside uh, to one of the next lectures that we're actually running a little bit late for. I'm excited to see Focusrite. Uh, it's one of the companies that I look forward to getting equipment from and finding what new developments they've come up with. And what about you? Uh, well, I'm excited for some of the lectures, and I definitely want to see uh, equipment that we already have from some of the companies and then new equipment from other companies like JBL, Mackie, QSC, uh, ProSanas. I definitely want to see Sennheiser and BBE for sure. But the lectures are the things that I really want to see because especially the one that's coming up has to do with live sound and networking, like audio awesome. networking and Wi-Fi applications for live sound. Cool. I think that's really important for us because we're getting into that. Anything that has to do with virtual reality and augmented reality too, that's like a that's main a big one. focus for today. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I don't know if we're going to see that today because it's three days and I heard it's on the third day, uh, but we might get lucky and at least get to see the exhibit and see what it's about. Maybe we can see a lecture, catch a lecture. Yeah. We'll find out. Anyway, we're about to go in. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm here with Eddie from DPA, and you guys specialize in microphones, right? Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the mics that you have here today. We have uh, the studio microphones, the big one, the, the bigger um, capsules and membranes, okay. and we have uh, all the miniatures, the small microphones. And uh, basically this has been two different worlds because the miniature microphones is very much made for theater business, for instrument pickup and stuff like that. And the recording mics well, have been done, they've been used at a given distance and uh, for uh, high resolution audio and, and stuff like that. And the miniature microphones, uh, they all handmade in Denmark. Uh, they will take something like 100 processes to, to finalize and they are tested all the way through so you have a, a really high quality. And there are some unique features in them so you they can um, accept a higher sound pressure level than most uh, miniature microphones. Absolutely. So uh, that's the exciting thing about yeah. these products. So how can we find out more about your uh, products and your website? Yeah, you can find them on the website dpamicrophones.com. Fantastic. And, and one thing I have to say is that we have a uh, mic uni, uh, microphone university, okay. where you can find articles about a lot of stuff, uh, what microphones are like, uh, what we are doing with it, and how you should treat your microphones and stuff like that. So the university they can find on your website? It's on the website. Absolutely. It's uh, microphone university. Uh, yeah, that's right. 
Well, thank you very much for your time, Eddie. Appreciate so welcome, it. All the best. Yeah. See you in Denmark. See you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>
do this uh, um, Decatry mic uh, stand. It's got like you know adjustable everything Please and like things are on ball. Oh, dude, I already did. That. Dude, I, got, uh, uh, I went to a panel and got called out at the panel. No I way. got called out dirty, dude. They say. It was a panel on. Um, okay, so you looked for jobs in audio. I had. No, good. Thank you, though. Okay, so you've looked for jobs in audio and you can't find anything now. So it's like, okay, you got to find, like, you know, other avenues. Maybe you're not going to, you know, engineer at, like, a studio. Yeah. But you can still work and do other things. So I said, so they were asking for questions and no one was, like, asking questions really. So I stood up and I was like, hey, what about for the people that are tired of looking for jobs because they can't find jobs and they want to start their own business? What advice do you have for, like, new business owners? Oh, what they so the dude at Westlake, you know Westlake, they sell audio gear? The head of that, the guy yeah. that founded the company, goes, dude, basically calls me a bum because of how I'm dressed, like, immediately. Really? Oh, my God. He's like, well, you know, first off, you got to dress the part. You can't come in looking like that. And I'm just like, oh, man, well, you got to put me on blast. Like, and I want to show you some stuff about uh, uh, so this from like Decatur, which is absolutely what I needed. For. Yeah, and damn. You see how everything's like on this like ball bearing kind of like you can adjust it like really, really minute and change this. This is an arm that comes out. It's like you know the telescopic arm and it comes out. Oh, that's such a good idea. Exactly. But this is dude, this is where it's at. And then these two poles come out further, and that comes out further too. Yeah. And like ballpark, you're only on like 500 feet. Really? Just not bad, dude. That's so great. But I mean, if you're getting like a orchestra stuff, if you're doing live sounds, yeah. Like All right, guys, so I'm here with Jeff. He's the director of product marketing at Tascam. He's going to tell us a little bit about these units. Why don't you go ahead and talk about uh, what these do and who they're for? Okay, sure. We have uh, a few units that are uh, designed for audio for video. Uh, one of the best sellers is the DR70D, which has four XLR mic ins. Um, and it's designed to uh, attach with a, with a camera, so all the cables kind of hang out of your way, and it's very easy to get in and, uh, and, and mess with it. So it uh, has built-in microphones as well, if you need that, but typically people use the, uh, the XLRs sure. to uh, record four discrete tracks right. and then um, feed that back into the camera. So uh, this is the DR70D, this one is the DR701D. So they look pretty similar and in a lot of ways they, they act the same way. So this one also has the four XLR inputs. Okay. And then on the side it has a camera out that'll, that you can plug into the camera so that as you're recording uh, your audio, you have a feed of that going back into the camera so it has the same audio. And why that's important is that you have the uh, the, the audio that's on the camera card and the audio that's on this card, there's just real high quality audio recording. Okay. And then you drop those into multi-camera or multi-clip in Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro and it'll automatically align everything for you. Oh, that's amazing. Awesome. The DR70D is uh, $299 and then the 701D, what this adds is it has a built-in time code generator with a time code input so you can sync, sync it up to a smart slate or whatever your uh, okay. source is. It also has an HDMI input. The HDMI takes the uh, signal from a camera and it gets um, the Many cameras will send simply time code over HDMI. Sure. Um, you can also, when you hit record on the camera, it'll start recording on the, oh, the awesome. 701D. Now that doesn't happen on this on this one. No, when you this hit one doesn't have the HDMI feature. So that's that's the main uh, big feature on the yeah. 701D. That's a that's a powerful. Um, and uh, it also gets the frame rate from the camera, so they'll never drift out of sync. It's a magnesium alloy case, yeah. which is a little bit more sturdy. Yeah, looks so this one build. is uh, $599. Oh, there's also lavalier options, correct? Sure. Uh, one more solution we have is, it's called the DR10L, and it's a uh, all-in-one recorder with a uh, lavalier microphone. It comes with a lavalier microphone, but oh, wow. you can plug in anything that has a Sennheiser-style yeah. uh, connector. Uh, this one records to micro SD card, runs eight hours on a AAA battery, and uh, you can just clip it to someone, hit record, and just let it record for right. the whole day. Yeah. So if you're doing long shots, if you're doing a wedding video, if you're doing anything where you don't want to have wires and microphones 
hanging around, just use this, and it's a real discreet way to to, uh, to record. And what's the price point on, on this guy? Uh, this one is $199, including the microphone. Oh, that's a great deal. How can uh, some of the viewers get a hold of you or find you guys? Uh, check us out on Tascam.com. A few moments later. I'm really excited to introduce this man right here beside me. This is Larry, the founder of uh, Tape Pop. Thank you very much. Yeah, I really appreciate you, it. Man. We have an audiovisual engineer. He's kind of like yeah. the lead for our business. His name is Michael Castaneda, and yeah. he follows you guys religiously. Yeah. And it was because of Michael uh, we found out about the registration on Twitter. Yeah. And um, but can you? Uh, briefly tell our listeners what are, or our viewers what Tape Op is all yeah. about. Yeah, okay, so Tape Op is just about the art of making records, about about uh, recording engineers, producers, musicians, anyone that's recording music and releasing music, how they do it technically and how they do it artistically and what the processes are. And we also review recording equipment and we have lots of nice, beautiful ads for for new equipment and things like that that are out there. So it's just, you know, it really just all evolve, revolves around the, the idea really of kind of making music, you yeah. know, recording and music yeah, and, and presenting it to an audience. Yeah, and it's all, you know, it's all there to help people mm. make better choices and learn about how other people work. Yeah, actually when I was in um, the, I was at the, at Citrus College, we went through the recording technology program yeah. and our teacher would swear by it. He'd always yes. be like, you guys got to sign up. Because Teachers always tell me, yeah, I heard that there, all There's that so much time. great interviews and yeah. ideas of how to record. So. And it's free. Yeah. So it's a free subscription. Yeah. Do you have like any social media outlets or yeah, website? Well, we do tapeop.com. You can get a free subscription right there. But we're also like Tape Pop Magazine on uh, Twitter. I think Tape Pop Mag on uh, Instagram, things like that. F Facebook, you'll find us everywhere. Just type in Tape Pop, boom. I'm sure we'll have the link below yeah, or something. You can so. that. Yeah. Thank Perfect. you very much, Thanks, guys. It's awesome, a man. pleasure to meet you, you as too, well. Man. Thank have you. Fun with us. Hey, what's up? We're here with Elijah from Dolby. He's going to be talking to us about uh, some virtual reality sound, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You want to go ahead? I mean, uh, uh, yeah, so this is our VR solution that we uh, Dolby has uh, came up with. And pretty much it's built off of the cinema tools that uh, we have for Dolby Atmos. So what we've implemented pretty much for the VR workflow is um, things like equal rectangular, uh, different binaural modes, as well as head tracking. So same, it's very similar to the cinema workflow. Um, we set it up by instantiating uh, uh, separate panners on each object, and then you would do your automation moves the same as you would in any cinema workflow. And um, we also retain the, the monitor app. So with the monitor app, you, you, you'll be able to visualize what's going on in your mix. But what's also cool is that we have the renderer as an application now, so you don't need an RMU. This is also a cool feature, is um, we have head tracking. Uh, we have an app, uh, a Windows-based app, that you could use uh, any Oculus Rift, and this will connect with the renderer on this side, and you can do the head tracking real time. So we'll get the binauralization, the rendering, and whatnot, all real time. And also, we are able to transcode that down into a DD plus file, which is an e uh, EC3. And you can put that EC3 into an MP4, and you can create a VR video. Yeah, yeah awesome. so this is amazing right here. Cool. And uh, you're saying it's on Pro Tools right now, right? Uh, Pro Tools, yes. So, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so that's it for day number one. Super fun. We got to do all the downstairs stuff. Tomorrow we'll be back. Yeah, we're definitely coming back for tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we'll do some uh, AR stuff. Yeah. We got about three, maybe four uh, lectures going on tomorrow on different aspects of AR within audio and video. And then we're going to do some of the upstairs stuff. Yeah, there's definitely like some demo rooms upstairs that we still have to check out. Uh, lectures, like he said. And then tomorrow is the opening for the real like AR and VR portion of the event. So yep. we're definitely going to come back for that. We previewed some really cool stuff today. But yeah. I think tomorrow they're going to get into detail about some stuff. Yeah, so. and I thought the... Uh, even though it's Samsung phone, but the Samsung Gear VR was had the best visual display. Yeah. But I know the Oculus is kind of, it's actual real VR, because the Samsung one, it's just an image split into two. And yeah, for each but it, eye, it so was it looked so pretty, seamless. Yeah, yeah, and it, was, it looked really awesome. Anyway. Uh, it's great. Yeah. A lot so, of insight. See you tomorrow for day number two. We're on our way to our first lecture today. It's the one on creating scientifically valid spatial AR and VR for audio. So looking forward to it. 
Okay. <laughs> they're like, oh, we created it. We really don't know how it's going to be used. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they're just trying to build a bridge for something that they don't even know what's on the other side yet. So, but I was wondering on your view, like, I'm sure students are asking, you know, occasionally, but not the really? way that you would think. I think that in general, people's idea of what it is to work with audio is still Hill that they haven't gotten over yet, so they're still thinking that this is going to be about making records. This is still going to be about you know, all the traditional things in audio. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. Uh, you're going to experience some 3D audio through a pair of ordinary headphones. Okay. Um, our player is called Soul, and then our plugin for Pro Tools is called Gworks. Okay. And we also have a plugin for Unreal and Unity 3D. Moving part. The whole moving part is kind of gnarly. Uh, the headset, the Oculus is amazing. I think it's a little bit better than the Samsung. The sound effects on this was ridiculous. And the thing that kind of threw me off was just that I wasn't moving, but the room was moving, so that kind of that kind of threw me off. But the sound on this is incredible. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys got some good insight. We were able to see some really cool vendors today. Um, dude, uh, Mike, you're gonna have to give a shout out to Mr. Tight. He came through today. Mr. Tight. <laughs> That's awesome. Machine. Yes, um, what's it called? We just finished up with the virtual reality and the augmented reality as far as audio recording. What did you think about it? I thought it was great. Uh, I mean, I had a fun time experiencing those headsets and the the visual experience of it and then obviously the audio experience is what it was made for. I learned a lot about it and I'm looking forward to see where they go with it and how we can use it within our business and with our clients in the yeah. future. Uh, how about you? Just to have an understanding of everything is yeah. really cool. Uh, some of that live sound applications too, the audio networking, I was kind of lost about that and just to get insight from the panel discussion, yeah. it's really helped me out. And then seeing new products, man, like people are doing some amazing things. Everything's coming down to like simplicity and mobility, so right. it's cool to see. Yeah. You know? Again, if you're a student, you need to come to these things and just check things out. Yeah, network, like you said earlier, that's an important thing to make new contacts, find out people to work with in the future. It was cool to see how we might be able to use virtual reality in the future for some of the events we do with some of our corporate clients. Um, yeah, even in some of the private clients too. Like, yeah. You can yeah. That. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment. We want to know. If you want to, if you want to see anything that we maybe we didn't show, please leave a comment. Yeah. We'll try to go find that yeah. out for you guys. If you have any questions, hit them up at uh, at e Lopez Music mm -hmm. on Twitter. Mind. Yeah, and then I'm at uh, ASC underscore Video on Instagram and Twitter.